how to add table to Squarespace website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a table and add it to your Squarespace uh, right there website. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. So here you need to head over to squarespace.com Sign in for your account and then you are going to visit your account dashboard. As you can see, this is our account dashboard. Uh, here I have a little disclaimer, guys. Everything created in this video, such as email addresses and accounts, are created only for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. So make sure that you are going to use your own information. So here we have the list of the websites that we have created already. So we are going to select one of the websites and then we can go ahead and proceed to the other steps. I'm going to select this, click on go to website. Basically, you are going to see here the website loading up. Here we have an excellent response time from uh, Squarespace. As you can see, everything is going to be uh, present in just a split of a second. And here we have it. Now, what are we going to do right there is to click on or select the page before here that we want to add the table to. For example, here we have the main pages or the main navigation. Maybe you are going to add it to the about page. So we are going to select the about page from here. And now we are going to click on edit. It will open up here the whole page. Now I am going to add a section. And that section is going to be a blank section. So we are going to put it like this. You can go ahead and edit that section and change the background of it. So here we have uh, the background or the design. Also, you can see the color of it. Uh, I'm going to put it like this, this light or whatever. So I'm going to modify it to something else. Here we are going to change the um, background custom to black. Bam. I like it like this. So now aside from that, I'm going to click on close. Now how we can integrate that specific table. If you click on add block, you're not going to find tables because uh, unfortunately Squarespace haven't integrated that feature yet. So we are going simply to head over a table generator or an online table generator. You can go ahead and generate a table and get the export option to get it as a HTML code. Or you can go ahead and get your table from Google Sheets. You can also set up that by getting a table from Google Sheets right there. So uh we are going to set up these sheets for example or that table you're going to select file from here you are going to click on share and then here you are going to click publish to web and then you are going to select the embed not the link but the embed you're going to get here an iframe and the iframe you are going to copy it put it right there get a block right there of a embedded code or a code simply i'm going to double tap on this uh, delete the message and simply we are going to set up here the uh, as you can see the table of our google sheets so we are going to make it right there so maybe it will set up here uh, things properly maybe not who knows uh, it depends on coding and also the space uh, put here you can also get a table from canva so you can go ahead and set up a table like here we are going to set up table table like that and see what do we have here you can go ahead and insert these type of tables either you are going to uh, set it uh, or install it as a pdf not a pdf here but maybe a PNG file, for example, you are going to put here work your table here. Uh, then you are going to simply to set up everything right there that you want. And click on share, download, get it as a PNG, download it as a PNG, or 
you can go ahead and click on see all i'm going to let you see how we can do both methods click on embed click on embed again and you're going to get the html embed code click on copy now we are going to head over uh, the uh, blocks of squarespace add code again or embed doesn't matter I'm going simply to add our code here. So it will be setting up right there our code and we are going to see the table. So this is our table. So we can go ahead and make that specific region uh, little or uh, as you can see big, it doesn't matter. So this is the table. You can not actually control that table because you are going to put it as a finished uh, product or a finished file. So the visitor will see only that table. They can get the access to Canva to zoom in or to see whatever they have to, for example, or take a screenshot for it. And here I'm going to let you see how we can generate a table with just the table generator.com like that. I'm going to click on create a table. Here we have an example, as you can see, we have at the right side, the, um, let's say the control panel, we can control the columns and also control the rows. So either you are going to increase the rows or increase the columns or decrease them. It is as much as you want, for example, like that. So here I have five columns or four i'm going to set up here uh, this for example uh, you can go ahead and set up this and select these columns and put them like this you can add a column before after or remove the column it is how you like it for the font size you can go ahead and put them large extra large or extra small or small so you can go ahead and set up the vertical borders to borders. I meant to separate here the the ones, and also you can go ahead and put it as strip. So it is going to be like an Excel or a Google Sheet uh, file. So you can go ahead and display part by link right there, or you can go ahead and uh, let it like that. So you are not going to give a label how the uh, table was created. You can control the header bold and also centered you can also control the boldness and the center of the cells here we have some background and uh, colors of the text and etc go ahead and control it as much as you want when you finish you're going to click on export table and here we have html table or embedded it is uh, going to be the same i'm going to select here embed copy to clipboard head over right there at the blocks again click on embed double click i'm going to embed it as not a link but a code snippet click on embed data paste it right here so as you can see it is not set up uh, uh, correctly but when you click on uh, the safe mode it is going to be set up like that so this is the column and also this is the design that we have made for that table. Everything is modifiable in the uh, website or the original website for it. And here we have it. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.